Hello everybody out there. This video is a DIY video on how to make a beach sand sifter or a clam rake or a sea flea, beach flea rake, whatever you want to call those little crabs. I looked at a few uh, products. They're well over $100. The holes are way too big. I'm looking for something to clean the beach where I live. I'm so sick of the pollution on Staten Island, in New York City, etc. I also go to the other boroughs to metal detect, to treasure hunt with my friends. And I just figured, hey, I called a couple of companies to see if they wanted to send me a couple of their things to try it out on the beach, give them a little plug. I didn't get a response, but I was too impatient to wait. I only sent a couple emails a week ago. Got all the material I would need under $20 to make my own. Made a custom sand sifter rake contraption. We're going to use it at the beach. I'm going to show you how good it works. I probably will get small holes on the next type of chicken wire I use. But uh, check this out. If you're interested to make one, it's under 20 bucks. Always use precaution when using tools or anything. I got a little cut on my finger. I should have wore gloves and safety glasses. I do work in the construction business, or I have in the same company. And I should know better. I always wear PPE. Anytime you're cutting metal... Always wear glasses. God forbid you get something in your eye or worse. Um, so yeah, enjoy the video. Let me know what you think below. And uh, this is part one. There will be a part two where we finish it off with uh, this spray paint and we clean the beach. Stay tuned, guys. Enjoy. One bow rake, gauge wire, zip ties, snips or shears, spray paint. Yeah. Hanging out with my son. What I'm doing here is folding over this piece a little bit to reinforce it so it lasts longer. Because if you don't, it's not going to be as strong. So a little piece over like so. Now, you got to be careful. I cut this with snips. It's going to be a little sharp. You should be wearing gloves. I should be wearing gloves. I'm not. So wear gloves, wear safety glasses, especially when you're cutting metal. Put some heavy on one side because it's bowed. It's going to want to naturally come back up. That's going to hold that. And we're going to continue to fold this. It's better if you have a hammer or a mallet while you're folding this. This, make your line and then fold it down. Push, 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 push. Next, push. Ooh, see, you don't want that to happen. It's better if you have a little helper helping you over here. Here we go. Look at that. So we're gonna attach this part. If you wanna get really fancy and safe, take your Dremel, cause the snips wouldn't get that low. Shroom. Smooth that out. I'm going to put that on the, the part of the rake side as a reminder of the sharp side. Maybe I'll hit it with a Dremel. And we're going to hit it with that nice highlighted green paint to make it stand out more and to also protect it more from the elements. You want to keep the folded side on the outside, not on the inside, because if it's on the inside, when you're raking stuff, it's going to get caught in between that stuff. So leave the folded end, the opening, on the outside. Remember that. Very important. All right. See, we got the outside. I can flap it up. So we're raking like this. We want this on the outside. So you match up the forks, leave the flap outside. See it's outside? And you're gonna want it on here because you're gonna be molding this side to here. And you don't want the sharp side on your fingers. Hurt yourself. So find a nice center part. I did it backwards, by the way, I had to flip it over. So that's how you want to have it. Zip tied it all across. Like I said, you could, um, before you do this, use a Dremel to make it smooth. Then you, then you want to make sure you wear eyeglasses and gloves while you're doing this. So now what we're going to do is fold it again, the opposite way, and zip tie it around this bow over here, whatever you call this thing. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
I've cut this one down. It's probably better to use shears that it's really hard to do with snips. You gotta be really careful you don't hit your hand. So I'm also gonna trim this one down on this side, see how it's longer. And what I'm gonna do is to make it, give it a more clean appearance. We don't wanna use a million zip ties. We're just gonna fold it in nice and then you can form it any way you want. Once that's all done, we get rid of, that's the fun part, clipping all these off. And then we're gonna hit everything except the wood. I'll leave the wood the same color with this. It's two times ultra cover paint and primer Rust-Oleum paint is touch. This goes on wood, metal, plastic, and more. Has the primer already in there. So it's gonna look nice. So it's nice and uniform, all the same color. Let's get to snipping this again. Okay, so what I did was I just folded it over two times, once, twice. And, you know, I could have did this differently. I could have made a bigger one, cut sheets, put a bunch of zip ties. This is my first one. I'm not doing with an instruction, so it's a work in progress. I think the next one we do, we're going to do smaller holes, but this is just a test run. I want to see how it would work on the beach. So I think it came out pretty good considering the amount of time I did it. Did this in about 10 minutes. Uh, well, altogether 20 minutes, I would say. So now we're going to cut all those zip ties off. Well, first I'm going to zip tie the side, cut them off. And what's good about this wire is you could form it very easy. So if you want to clean that up, we could put some in there and hammer it out to make it look neater and cleaner. All right. <laughs> Here's the, this isn't the end result, but for today it is. We're still gonna form this ice, make it a little bit more symmetrical, aesthetically pleasing. And um, I'm gonna hit it with this to make it all uniform and protect it more. This is part one, stay tuned for part two. We're gonna clean the beaches with this. You could also use this for a uh, clam rake or a uh, sea flea rake, which they use for bait fishermen. Check that out. Wait. Hope they can see it. I can't see what the camera could see. Hey guys, it's Harper to Fayo Baby Tones. Good night. <laughs> good night. Have a good day.